Welcome back to the channel. Hey everyone, we got a comment. Said, man, you remember that last uh, last movie you made? Well, I, it's junk. I can't see what's going on. Well, let's make a new one. Let's pull our camera in just a little bit so we can watch that thread and, and really get a good look, especially at the finish. Um, that's... That to me is is the hardest part of of this whole process. So let's let's squeeze in a little bit. Let's see what's going on. You can see I've started with a lead head. It's been powder painted. It does not have eyes on it yet. We may put eyes on it. We may not. You can also see that I have removed the barb. Let me show you one of those real quick. And grab a hold of it you can see I have removed the barb now you can take a pair of snippers and they sell these at Walmart nothing nothing fancy but you can take that barb off real easy and it makes it makes for a very clean and and level body if, if you take that barb off. All right, let's get started. Try to keep my fingers out of the way the best I can. I'm just using regular pink thread from from Walmart. You're gonna fuss at me, but it works. So we'll start up here at the head and just start wrapping. Now you can see I'm I'm wrapping over that tag that I've got. That's what's going to hold it still. And let's just keep wrapping. And you can kind of hold that tag down toward the end. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's really hard to do that around the camera. I'm probably going to go a little bit further. That's about how short I'm going to stop. Ooh, it's time for lunch. All right. Now you can take some clear fingernail polish if you want and really seal that up, lock it down, but I'm not going to do that. It's not because I don't want to. It's just I'm not going to take the time to. Let's, we're going to tie a white base jig. Now I'm going to size up how long I want. I don't. I don't want anything real huge. I don't want anything too long. So I'm just kind of sizing it up. Sizing it up. That's just about right. So I'll go ahead and cinch it down. Now I can put those where I want them. But that's the length I want. Yeah, let's do one more then. Now I can put those where I want later ok 
Anyways, let's get them cinched down a little bit. Now before I get to the end, I'm really going to make sure those feathers are where I want them. It's going to turn out pretty good. They're going to be kind of kind of split away from each other like this. Go back to the top. I'm going to get this cinched down in this vise a little bit better. Yep. Now that's not going to be pronounced when those feathers get wet. They're going to squeeze together. Now I had a little leftover in that feather I was using. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit on the end. These feathers come off of a off of one of my friend's chickens. Let's clean that up a little bit. It's going to turn out pretty good. It's not too thick, not too thin. I really like that. That split tail. Cool. Come back with a yellow chartreuse critter tail. Do fairly well with that chartreuse head. Not too long. Now I want those to lay down a little bit better than that. So I'm going to go light on that last. Yeah, that'd be fine. Go back to the top. All right, let's get a, a body. 
nothing fancy. This is a a white pearl. And it's a small one though, so not too bulky. Catch it right on the end. Go to the end. Go back to the top. We're gonna get this kickstand loader bobbin out of the way. Just start wrapping. If you don't like that pink showing through, I kind of do. So I'm not going to go too thick. Now, don't don't crowd your head when you come up when you come in contact with it that's that's good we want to save a, a little bit of room for our thread I can't see what I'm doing y'all are in the way but that's okay so come up your threads on the back side of that go around and come on the right side now you can do that again if you want to but that's fine right there now kind of pet it a little bit get that chanel moving away from that head because we want a clean finish so i'm going to go around few times that's going to be clean now let's get our finisher this is a finisher it spins so when you grab a hold of this thing you, you better grab a hold of it with, with some authority. Uh, grab it where it's going to stay put. Because you need to be able to control this. Now I grab it just like that. I always grab it up here in this bend. Just like so. Grab a hold of your string with the hook, push. See this little bend? That's where we want to go next. Now, see what I did? Let's do it one more time. Hook, go to this bend. I just go under it, come back over the top. And right now, that's what we've got. So I'm going to twist this bobbin down. Now we've got an upside down four. And you see where that thread crosses? We want to pull that up. And that's where we want to start wrapping. Just like so. Alright, let's do that one more time. You get the slack out of my bobbin. Grab a hold of it. Hook. Right here at the bottom of the screen. And then I'm just going to twist my, my finisher. 
and you're left with that right there. Pull on your bobbin a little bit to take that slack, and that's what we want to start wrapping. See? I go about seven times. That was six. I'm getting I'm getting too fat on my wrap, so I'm gonna stop. And then just pull the hook out. Hold the head, cinch it down. Don't break it. Don't bump the camera. Snip. Now you do want to seal it with something here. I use my wife's fingernail polish. Works pretty good. Seal it especially on the bottom. Alright, this next part I don't normally do. I usually stop there, but I'm going to go one extra step. This is kind of a... And I'm, I'm doing this just to tone it down. That white and chartreuse really, really gets loud. And there's... I'll agree with you. There's, there's better ways to, to, to put eyes on here than what I'm about to do. But if if you actually care about eyes, then then congratulations. You are part of an elite group of people that are really nice and tidy and, and care. Uh, I usually don't don't take the time, and I'm I'm certainly not part of an elite group. And plus, I'm going to throw them up in a tree or lose them in a snag. So I don't normally. So I've got some some Walmart paint. <laughs> it's got black, a little sparkle. Sorry, color in the way again. Get just a little bit on there. Now, if you get too much on this thing, you're going to make a mess because these eyes are going to get fat. So take your time. Get it level, and I just barely touch it to it and keep doing it until I get the, the amount that I want. And now it looks like a, a booger sitting on there. Well, that's fine because it's going to get a little fatter. Let's do the other side. Drip. That's, that's about it. You see it? See it getting bigger? One more. Oh, shoot, that's going to be too much. So let's turn it upside down. Let's pull a little bit of that off. All right. They'll flatten out a little bit. Alright, we'll let that dry a little bit. And when that dries, I'll come back. I'm going to hang up before we get to that point. But I'll come back over those eyes with some clear again. And it will really turn out to be okay. I think that's going to be okay. All right, guys. Hope this one's a little bit better. Hope you can see what's going on. We will see you guys next time.